Hey, this is Brandon, and this is another episode of Naked Poetry. Um, this one is a special episode, and it goes out to my boyfriend, Nico, um, who I miss very much. And um, I wrote this poem for him. Uh, you can find it on my blog at myfeetonlywalkforward.blogspot.com. Nico is in Africa for another month, um, 29 days to be exact, and I cannot wait for him to come home. Uh, I love you, Shu. Um, and here is the poem. A very sappy love poem, a.k.a. The Shoe. He is to me the stuff that dreams are made of, brilliant bursts of color that throw shade at the rainbow, give side eye to a prism's glow, French diplomat freak in the sheets, realness, the category is love. New style. Soft and gentle, smooth and subtle, it isn't the explosive passion that has moved my foundations in the past. It was the 4th of July in Krakatoa, but this, this is a broad river with a powerful undertow, slowly mar making its mark through the stoic earth. Inexorable, it feels like truth. His distance feel like the reach from the river source to its delta, but I can feel him though he is not cerca, verdad. The source and the delta are the same river. I meant to give him a lingering goodbye, but life got in the way. I had a grant due that day, so it was a swift kiss and into a taxi left me wanting that long goodbye. Instead, it will be a hell of a hello, and anyone that says two months ain't a long time hasn't been in love before. Two days is a long time when you crave waking up in his arms despite the snores that sound like a silverback banging on its chest. Somewhere deep in his neck he growls in his sleep, keeps his arms around me, except when my arms are around him. Sometimes he doesn't let me go. In that way, he's just like his best friend. Yes, I also dated him. But if this is the beginning, there can only be a happy ending because once upon a time I fell in love with a French man who was first my friend. And those are the types of bedtime stories that never, ever end. Love you, Shu. Talk to you soon.